Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tetrix RoboBite video series. This is Tim from Pitsco Education. Today's RoboBite, I wanna to talk to you about the Tetrix Max Tank Tread Kit. It is comprised of several different elements. We have sprockets, we have idler wheels, and then we have, uh, of course, the tank tread links themselves. You can get all of these as separate items or you can get them all together as a kit. Now the individual lit, uh, links are plastic and they snap together to be able to make a belt of whatever length that you need. The, the actual kit comes with bags of 100 links. So that gives you the kind of outline of what they come or how they come from Pitsco. They are part of the motion category in the Tetrix ecosystem. So they are generally used uh, in some kind of an application that would either be a drive or a uh, method of actually moving parts back and forth from one location to the other through a conveyor system. So that's the general, route, general use. Uh, a typical application would look something like this. You can see here that I've got two sprockets. I could also put an idler wheel on either end, but basically the idea is that we create a belt, a custom length of specific lengths, and they go around the sprockets and we would have an output source of power on one end. And again, we could either have uh, just idling on one end or just free rolling. Uh, they do come with accessories like uh, paddles that would allow you to make, again, a custom use of this is to move items along the length of this belt. We also have rubber inserts to help with traction for those. Now the advantage of using a tank tread uh, type of a system or either drive or conveyor uh, system is the fact that it allows you to distribute weight. They become really ad advantageous when you use them in that matter because you can use a heavier robot and it distributes the weight along the bottom of the tread and it allows you to create a heavier robot and still have the motion that you need. So that's one of the advantages of using a tread type of a drive system for for your robot. Um, things to watch out for. We want to make sure again we have an alignment issue with uh, our tank treads. We want those links, those sprockets to be in alignment so they don't jump off of the sprockets. We want to make sure that we have proper tension between the links and again we could adjust that by either adding or subtracting links to make the belt a custom length or we could add an idler wheel to create again extra tension to, but the, the idea is that we want to make sure that we have the proper tension between the treads and the sprockets. The other thing to keep it in mind when you're uh, creating your, your tread system is that the amount of contact around the sprocket becomes very important. If we have fewer teeth engaged in the, the tread it links itself, you have more of a chance for those to pop or slip off of the belt system. So it's important to remember that wherever I have my power output, I want to make sure that I have a good engagement of the links around the sprocket. Those are important things to, to look out for. So. Um, extra resources. Remember, you can always go to pitsco.com and at the bottom of every product page, you'll find specific files relating to those products like CAD files, spec sheets, everything you need to know about that particular product are located on the product page at pitsco.com. So like we always say, have fun, build some robots, and come back and see us.